everyone, it's Ruby here and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now showering can be a real chore, especially if you're a girl and you have super long hair. It also makes me feel kind of clean but dirty at the same time. Do you guys know that feeling? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's like you're in the shower, you're trying to get yourself clean and then you spot the hair in the drain, the mold the soap scum and the grout and you're just standing there naked contemplating like am I really clean? If you'd like to learn how to make your life easier when it comes to showering and also the chore of having to clean your bathroom then please keep on watching. If you're new here please hit that subscribe button down below and also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of my next upload. Alright are we ready? Let's go! So I used to have crazy insane breakouts on my back and I couldn't understand why. The skin on my face was clearing up but my back was just getting worse and worse. And then one day when I hopped out of the shower, I realized that my back was still quite slippery. And then it clicked. It was actually my conditioner that was left on my skin, clogging my pores and causing my skin to break out. Shampoo and condition your hair first. Make sure you rinse your body off really well and then use a loofah, either a shower gel or a soap bar and just get that residue off your body, off your skin, just to ensure that it's not clogging up your pores. Another thing that I also like to do with body acne is I take my facial cleanser that's designed to clear acne and I use it as a body wash on the areas that have breakouts. You can't use regular shower gel with that. You really need to use something that treats the breakouts and reduces the size and the congestion. Let's talk about mold. It is disgusting. It is a fungus and it can also be quite harmful to your health, especially if you have a breathing condition. I use cleaning vinegar and I saturate some paper towels with it and then I place it over the mold and let it soak for about 20 minutes. I then come back and wipe it off and I probably repeat this two or three times just to make sure that the mold spores have been removed. Every single time I shave my legs, I always cut myself around my ankles and my knees. It is such a pain and looks absolutely terrible, especially when I'm wearing a short skirt or shorts or if I've just got my legs out for the summertime. This is like the ultimate summer hack. So I have swapped my shaving gel for shaving oil. And because it's a very slippy product, my razor literally glides over the contours of my knees and my ankles without getting a single cut. It is absolutely amazing. I don't know why I haven't used an oil sooner, but it has literally changed my life. It makes shaving so much easier. I get a closer shave. It's very, very smooth. And I also don't get razor bumps, which is amazing. So this is a really great summer hack too if you've got dry, flaky bits of skin on your feet and you're super insecure about wearing open shoes. So my boyfriend and I were holidaying in Vanuatu. We were on one of those remote islands that did not have a nail parlor in sight and my toes were looking kind of gross. So I took John's razor and I started shaving the dead skin off my feet. So yeah, I took his razor, I started shaving my feet and I had like super soft feet again. And then I quickly took the razor, wrapped it up in some toilet paper and threw it in the bin so he would never know about it. Let me introduce you to this white magic sponge that removes soap scum with just water. It is literally like magic. All you have to do is run it under some water and wipe away at your glass and it literally removes everything. It leaves your glass spotless. You can also use it on your taps and your knobs and leaves them sparkling and you just have to use water. No chemicals, no like fancy foams that you have to rinse off. Bye soap scum! Call me crazy, but I've got really nice lace underwear and bras that are too delicate for the wash. So I take them with me in the shower and I just hand wash them with a little bit of shampoo. It cleans them really well. It makes them smell amazing and it's not going to damage them. Let's just say it's a Saturday night, the girls are over, you're all getting ready and the group chat is on fire. And you need to take a shower and get ready, but you don't want to miss out on a single thing. What you can do is pop your phone in a Ziploc bag, make sure you do it up tight. That way you can reply to your text messages, your WhatsApp, and also listen to music. This is something that I like to do often, especially when I've got a hair mask on because you need to leave that in for a couple of minutes. So it gives me something to do. I check Snapchat Nakey, I check Facebook Nakey, and also Insta Nakey. And that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in my new video next week. Until then, look after yourselves, be safe. I love you and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Mwah.